Hello and welcome to another tutorial by me, Hamster Hill. This one's going to be on how to use proceed, uh, projection painting, um, which is where basically you use more than one UV map. Um, if you don't know what UV maps are, you may want to go check out a tutorial on that before watching this one. Um, but we use more than one UV map um, to create a texture. So, um, so, um, so yeah, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change one of our views here to a UV image editor. Um, this, by the way, is a Firefly class um, spaceship from the uh, short-running series uh, Firefly, um, which is sort of a cult classic for anyone who watches it. Pretty much everyone loves it. Um, but yeah, um, so this is a ship and basically what we're going to do is we're going to make a texture for it from this sort of concept art that I've got here if you um if you have a look I have sort of side view and top view bottom view all the views um, but what I don't have is a texture that encompasses all those views to chunk onto the thing so that's what we're going to make um, using this technique so first thing we want to do is go into edit mode select all the vertices and press U unwrap um, smart projections um, then press OK and um, it'll make you an automatic UV map here and just sort of a simple quick way to do it um, it won't be perfect but it will be fine um, so yeah so now what we want to do is we want to put an image with that so go here image new and um, you just want to accept the defaults, so it doesn't really matter uh, the more t pixels you have the uh, higher quality it is obviously but you know whatever uh, so then what we need to do is to um, start our projection painting is add more than one UV texture um, so if you look down here in our mesh tools under editing buttons um, you see that we have one UV texture um, and that's our, our starting one so we're going to put that as our result um, in capitals for some reason uh, then add a second one and this one's going to be the one that has our firefly texture on it um, and then that's for the image and for our uh, for the UV map what you want to do is you just want to take one of your views so we will take bottom view in this case and um, bottom slash top view and then just press U and unwrap project from view. Uh, then just grab the map that we have here, uh, move it along, and then you want to scale it to the correct scaling. Um, you may just scale across different axes to get it all right. Um, but yeah, so just get it all in the right place. Um, and then what you can do is go into texture paint mode. Um, make sure one of your views or all of your views is in textured mode so um, that's the draw type mode it's that little tiny box there and um, then what you want to do is you just want to paint on the texture onto our first one so um, to set that all up we want to make it so we see our result texture um, the leopard skin thing which is our sort of clone from texture you want to click to the bottom one the clone 2 one obviously we want to have as our result one um, change this to clone painting mode um, then make sure you click clone layer and um, that's pretty much everything set up oh, except you need to turn up the opacity and maybe turn up the size a little bit as well um, so then we're ready to paint so what we can do now is um, we're looking at the ship from the bottom here so if we just start painting on here uh, you can see that we start to get a pretty nice texture and uh, so we'll just slop it on quickly because this is our first view um, so parts of it that are wrong will be um, dealt with by another view so yeah so just slop it on there and um, and it'll all be fine um, if you have a mirrored object as I do um, sometimes it pays to turn off mirroring um, so if you just click there uh, because often you'll paint on one side and then it'll overpaint on the other side and you'll end up with sort of a crisscrossy thing in the middle that looks really nasty. 
um, so yeah so just be aware of that and um, turn off your mirroring uh, another thing to be careful of if you turn off your mirroring is often you can um, paint from the other side so if you paint a little bit there then it will show up on the other side and, but yeah so just yeah um, so we've done one view here and what we can do now is we can do the top view as well from this map we'll just go into our map here change it now if you can see it, it's showing us the wrong UV map so to get to the one that we want to um, edit, we go to the UV texture. That's the one with our uh, the one that we're getting it from. Let's grab this. We'll move it so that we are now painting from the top part of our concept art. Um, then just go back to your texture paint mode. Make sure that it's viewing the result and um, make sure that it's painting from that. And then we just continue painting. So. Um, now we've got it selected on our top half so we'll just start painting on the top and just get in all the bits that will look good from the top you don't want to start painting on the bottom if you have the top selected obviously because it'll override all the stuff that look good from the bottom um, with the stuff that looks good from the top but you'll end up with sort of a ship that looks like the top from both sides so anyway, so as you can see that looks really really nice now um, I'll take our mirror back and our mirror line's not perfectly on center you can sort of see it duplicates a little bit more than but yeah so that looks really awesome and then we can figure out all the rest of it from our other views so we can go say to side view here um, then just select the whole thing make sure you are in uh, the one with the fireflies in it that's what the ship's called. So make sure you're in this one and then press U, project from view, and then just um, line it all up, scale it, and um, make sure you go back to texture paint mode, make sure you're viewing that one, make sure everything's all fine, and um, just start painting again. Um, now you have to be careful, the more that you've got the more textures you've got on there so our top looks really good at the moment our bottom looks really good but um, you want to be careful of doing stuff like this where you just sort of paint over the entire thing because that's gonna leave sort of stretched long um, things across there so if you just press Control Z and um, only paint the ones the parts that aren't looking so great so the, the bits that need more detail from that angle um, so yeah so we'll just chuck some detail on there all across there and yeah so um so you will end up with a really awesome texture now this can be used for more than just this specific thing um you can use it f for stuff like uh, hmm. uh say for example if you have a a character that that's got concept art with it you could um just do its t texture entirely from that concept art um you can also do uh say for example if you want to do something with more than one type of texture on it so uh what's a good example of that like like a bumblebee so um say you're making a bumblebee and um you know it's got sort of different colored furs and stuff you can do those different colored furs each from a different texture in here so you would change this firefly gift to something else and then you would paint on certain areas then you change it to a different texture again and paint on different areas and you end up with a really awesome texture so um so yeah so i can't quite finish this within the time frame but um it's looking pretty awesome as it is um and yeah, so uh, give it a whirl. I'll put the starting file on the description so you can um, follow through with this tutorial. Um, I'll probably put an annotation so you know that at the start of the tutorial. <laughs> um, so yeah, so hope you enjoyed it and um, have fun with it. And yeah.